Good morning, traders. So how do we trade the DAX this morning? So a couple of things. Um, the four hour has now broken through the alligator and the alligator has crossed over. So what we're looking for is a retest of the alligator and then a move back to the upside. So I still got the, the target levels in from yesterday. So you can see we haven't quite hit our breakout target, which is uh, 12.166. Okay. And that is from this uh, head and shoulders here. So but what has happened, I just want to get rid of some of this noise here. What has happened is we've got shoulder, head, shoulder, breakout, retest. Okay, if we look at that on, on a lower time frame like the hour, you'll see it's a bit clearer. Shoulder, okay, bigger head, shoulder, or you can have shoulder, head, shoulder. Okay, doesn't matter which way you look at it. Um, it is a reversal. There's shoulder, double head, shoulder. Okay, so it's a reversal pattern in many, many, many uh, ways that you look at it. So the reason why I'm highlighting that is because our measured move on this uh, would be, just take it to that neckline, take it up there, and just move that up. So our measured move on this is basically 12.22. So 12.220 is the measured move to the upside. So I'm looking for longs. And uh, what we need to pay attention to is basically this 200 moving average on the 30 minute. Okay, so you can see we've broken through, we've tested. I would expect another test, possibly even a third test. Um, before we break up or possibly break down. I mean, there's still that possibility as well. So for me still though, it is looking for longs. Okay. If you look at the hour, we are above the alligator and we've come through, we've tested it and we've broke the upside again. So there's definitely merit for looking for longs at the moment. Okay. And what's going to get us in? Uh, this is pretty much going to be price action driven. So uh, definitely look at this area of uh, 12040 for a entry in, um, possibly even picking up this tail here because it coincides with the alligator and the 200 day moving average, or sorry, 230 uh, minute moving average, and that is 12050. So any pullback into those areas, I'm looking for positive price action to drive us up, and then we're looking for a long. Um, you could actually look at this as a swing trade, but it is Friday, so I would take profit this afternoon. Um, target levels. Difficult one. I'm pretty much going to aim for 12220. Okay, so that's kind of would close, that would close this daily gap and at the same time be the uh, head and shoulders or breakout pattern or double bottom. Doesn't matter which way you look at it, it's a, it's a breakout pattern. Oh, sorry, it's a, it's a bottoming pattern. So and it has broken and retested. So that's the level I'm looking for. So I'm looking for 12220. 12 12 okay, so that's the level I'm looking to take profit and I'm looking to get in um, wherever price action deems necessary. Okay, so there is, let me just highlight this here, there is a little one hour gap here. Okay, so there is a tail and it does coincide with the alligator here. Okay, and this is on the four hour, so it's four hour gap. Let's just see if that gap is on the hour. Um, no, it's not in on the hour. So there's an outside chance that we can come back to this level. But I think this um, pattern of uh, higher lows and higher highs is going to continue. So you're looking for a little bit of a a pullback or consolidation then you're looking for a long and what you want to do is you want to keep your stop below the uh, not quite the low of yesterday but below this 12028 area okay um, that would give you a pretty good setup as far as I'm concerned okay um, a break below 12028 then you're definitely going to be looking for some shorts and there are a couple of magnets here. There's a gap to the downside and a level. And then there is also 
this inside tail here. Okay, so we've got a, a gap at the core 1200, and then we have uh, 11912, 11915, where there is another magnet, which is um, basically a, an inside tail, which is Brooks Gap, or it's a brake count that hasn't been retested. Okay, yeah, so that's my take on this. Um, I'm looking for longs, provided we stay above the alligator on the 30 minutes, to be honest. So we stay above uh, this blue line here, which is your jaws. And uh, if we stay above that, then I'm looking for longs. Okay, we drop below it, then there may be some short scalps down at the bottom, but it's not something that I want to trade. I'll be looking for the next setup long. I do believe we are at a, a fairly significant level, sorry. So we I'm expecting us to bounce a reasonably good bounce off this level. Okay, so that's kind of my take on this at the moment. Um, and definitely will take profit at 12.220. Okay. So we get it off there. It's a 160 point potential trade. So nothing, nothing wrong with that. Anyway, guys, that's my view on the DAX. Uh, enjoy your weekend and I'll catch up with you guys later. Uh, cheers for now.